Today we had another Guinness World Records attempt by the team at Sky Elements. They were attempting to break the Guinness World Records title for longest animation performed by UAV's drones. We had three fleets swapping throughout the course of the show, and we had to come up with a whole new Christmas story to tell. This was one of the most complex shows that we have ever built. Hey everybody, this year has been filled with amazing drone shows for Sky Elements, from America's Got Talent and beyond. But tonight we do something we've never done before. This is the debut of the Sky Elements Christmas Special, an original Christmas story. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Far south, beyond the reach of human feet, lies a world of ice and magic where penguins hold the power to create the wonders of winter, shaping snowflakes, crafting snow clouds, and spreading the magic of the season. Each penguin, when they come of age, is entrusted with a magic wand to help carry out their important work. But not every penguin has a wand yet. The adult penguins gathered wands held high as they practiced their magic, creating soft flurries that twinkled in the sunlight. Poppy waddled close, eyes wide with awe. She hopped with excitement as her older siblings showed off their spells. Careful, Poppy. You might get caught in the snowstorm. The others laughed. It wasn't the first time they'd teased her. You'll never figure out how to use a wand anyway. Poppy didn't argue. Deep down, she wondered if they were right. But far from the cheerful colony, in the frozen wilderness, something was stirring. Piece by piece, it began to take shape. A crooked smile, jagged arms, and glowing eyes. This was Freezy the Snowman, a figure born from bitterness and neglect. Freezy wasn't like other snowmen. Long ago, he was built by clever hands during a cold winter's day. But when spring came, he melted away, his spirit rising into the clouds, waiting for the chill of winter to return. Each year, when the first snow falls, Freezy is magically rebuilt. But being made and unmade so many times has left him bitter. They think snow is all fun and games, don't they? All chia and sparkle. They have no idea what it's like to be left behind. Freezy hated the penguins and their magic. He hated Santa, too. He'd been cast aside, forgotten, and he was determined to make everyone feel his pain. Meanwhile, at the other end of the world, Santa's castle glowed like a beacon of warmth in the North Pole. The penguins and Santa had worked together for centuries. Their magic made the holidays possible but neither knew that Freezy was plotting something that could ruin it all. Inside, Santa sat in his grand chair, reviewing lists and letters from children around the world. Back in the heart of Santa's workshop, the elves worked their magic on the naughty or nice machine. Toy parts zipped down conveyor belts. When a child's name lit up green, the machine whirred to life producing a perfect toy. But when the light turned red, signaling a naughty child, buzzers blared and the elves scrambled to reset the system. There was no time to waste, so the elves flipped the switch and kept the assembly line moving. Trouble was brewing just outside the workshop. So much joy, so much cheer. It's sickening, but I'll put an end to it. I'll take their precious toys and show them what it feels like to be left out in the cold. The toys paraded straight out the door where Freezy was waiting with an enormous sack. Into the bag, my little friends. You'll be safe with me. With a sinister chuckle, Freezy snapped the sack shut and disappeared into the night. Freezy dragged the sack of toys across the snow, grunting with effort. They think they're so clever, but wait until they see this. 
built by brains, powered by frost. The perfect escape vehicle. With a final heave, Freezy stuffed the sack into the rocket and climbed aboard. I'll take them as far away from here as possible, to the South Pole. The rocket roared to life, its afterburner igniting with a fiery, frosty blaze. Snow melted in its wake as it shot into the sky, trailing blue sparks behind it. As the rocket reached its peak, the sack dropped from a tremendous height. Down it tumbled, spinning wildly through the air. Freezy laughed as the sack plummeted to the frozen expanse below. In a snowbank, the sack landed with a soft thud. Moments later, it wiggled open. Out popped a few trinkets, and finally, three innocent toys emerged. Where are we? This isn't Santa's sleigh. Cold. Too cold. Not good. Form a line. We need a plan. The three toys stood huddled together in the snow. They were far from home, but they weren't about to give up. Maybe someone will find us, or... Maybe we'll find someone. With no better options, the toys began to wander, their tiny footprints trailing behind them in the snow. Wow. Pretty lights. Do you think they're magic? Doesn't matter. We're lost. We'll keep moving. Someone will find us. We just need to stay together. Despite their uncertainty, the toys pressed on marveling at the glowing sky. The southern lights danced and flickered, casting their reflections in the ice below. This feels like a dream, a scary dream, but with pretty lights. <laughs> but dreams wouldn't guide them home. Somewhere out there was help, or so they hoped. A soft sound caught their attention. What are you, toys, out here, alone? We got lost. Can you help us? Poppy blinked, unsure what to say. She'd never seen toys that could talk, let alone ones that needed her help. I don't know. I've never helped anyone find their way home before. You don't have to do it alone. Just point us in the right direction. Poppy thought for a moment. Then, an idea sparked. The Emperor Penguin! He's wise and powerful! He'll know what to do! And so, Poppy led the toys toward the towering ice palace in the distance. The group marched through the frozen landscape until, at last, they reached the base of a colossal mountain of ice. Carved into its icy face was a palace like no other. This was the home of the Emperor Penguin, a mysterious and reclusive figure known for his wisdom and power. Few had seen him, and even fewer had dared to ask for his help. In the grand chamber of the palace sat the Emperor Penguin, his throne crafted from shimmering snowflakes. Why have you come? Mr. Emperor Penguin, we need your help. These are Santa's toys, and they're lost. I see. This situation has come at an interesting time. You see, every penguin must face a trial to earn their magical powers. This is your trial, young one. The time has come for you to prove yourself. The Emperor Penguin extended his flipper, revealing a shimmering wand adorned with a delicate snowflake. This wand holds great power, but only if you believe in yourself. Take it and return the toys to Santa. But I don't know how to use a magic wand yet. You will learn. Trust in your heart. With trembling flippers, Poppy took the wand. As soon as it touched her, a flurry of snow swirled around her, forming a magical cloud. Maybe I can do this. 
The snowflakes swirled faster and faster, rising into the air until they formed a shimmering, fluffy cloud beneath Poppy's feet. It worked! I made magic happen! We can ride it. Let's go. Is it safe? I don't want to fall. Stay steady. We'll be fine as long as we're with Poppy. Poppy, still nervous, but gaining confidence, waved her wand again. The cloud rose higher, lifting all of them into the sky. Okay, here we go to Santa's workshop. But steering a magical cloud was no easy task. As they soared into the night, the cloud wobbled and swayed, sending the toys clutching for balance. This is fun, like a roller coaster. Not fun, definitely not fun. Poppy tried her best to guide the cloud, but it veered wildly off course. We'll get there, I promise. I just need to figure out how to steer this thing. Though the journey was chaotic, the sights filled them with awe and a growing sense of adventure. After what felt like an endless journey, the familiar glow of Santa's castle appeared on the horizon. Hold on, this might get bumpy. The cloud dipped low, then wobbled uncontrollably before crashing into one of the tallest towers of Santa's castle. Santa himself appeared, his jolly laughter filling the air as he spotted Poppy and the toys. Ho, 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 what a surprise. And who do we have to thank for this? It was, well, it was me, sir. My name is Poppy. Well, thank you, Poppy. It was the Emperor Penguin who believed in me. It was a long journey, but we made it. This seems like the work of Freezy. And if he's still out there, he won't stop until he's caused more trouble. He might try and stop Christmas altogether if we don't do something. But I think you've proven you're ready for the challenge, Poppy. Me? Stop Freezy? You have the magic, Poppy. And more importantly, you have the heart. Use them both, and you'll do just fine. With Santa's words ringing in her ears, Poppy felt her confidence grow. The real challenge was just beginning. Freezy waited in the frozen tundra, his jagged features illuminated by the moonlight. Well, well, if it isn't the littlest penguin, do you really think you can stop me? I have to try. You can't ruin Christmas, Freezy. Poppy raised her wand, sending a flurry of snow toward him, but it wasn't enough. Is that all you've got? You're no match for me. Poppy's flippers trembled. But she remembered Santa's words. Why are you doing this, Freezy? Why do you hate Christmas so much? Because I was left out in the cold, forgotten while everyone else had their fun. Poppy paused, her wand lowering slightly. I know how that feels. Sometimes I feel left out too. But being angry doesn't fix it. You can still be part of something special. Freezy hesitated his jagged edges softening as her words sank in. You, you'd include me? Of course, Christmas is about everyone. Many have tried to reason with Freezy, but Poppy's innocence and warm kindness seemed to melt Freezy's cold heart. His frosty form began to melt, not into a puddle, but into something warmer, kinder. I'm sorry, I thought being alone was my only choice but maybe I can change. Santa emerged from the workshop, his face glowing with pride as he greeted Poppy, Freezy, and the toys. Ho, ho, ho! You've done something truly remarkable. 
You saved Christmas and taught us all a valuable lesson about kindness and forgiveness. Poppy's heart swelled with pride. She had doubted herself at the start of this journey, but now she knew she was capable of great things. And you, Poppy, have proven you're ready to join the ranks of magical penguins. And you've earned a special place tonight. Hop in, you'll help deliver the magic. Poppy's eyes widened as she climbed aboard Santa's sleigh, sitting right beside Santa. The elves cheered, and even Freezy waved them off, his frosty smile genuine for the first time. On Dasher! On Dancer! Let's go! The sleigh rose into the starry sky, carrying Poppy on a journey she had only dreamed of. Poppy looked down at the twinkling lights of villages and towns below. She thought about everything she had learned, the courage it took to try, the kindness that could melt even the coldest hearts, and the magic that came from believing in herself. The sleigh glided onward, leaving a trail of sparkling stardust in its wake. Below, families gathered, lights twinkled, and the spirit of Christmas grew stronger with every mile. I can announce that Sky Elements had a final time of 30 minutes. It's another new Guinness World Records title. You guys are officially amazing once again. Congratulations, Sky Elements.